Ouais. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Blue Star Biker Channel. Hope everybody's doing good. Welcome back to the continuing saga of the Central Valley heat wave. Today's not going to be so bad. It's only going to be 98 or something like that until tomorrow it's going to be back up to 104 and triple digits for at least the next 10 days. So that's why I chose today to do a little ride and uh, I've got an interesting episode lined up for everybody. Today I'm going to go over and visit Bill. Alright, Bill's my buddy, Moto Mike 805's father, and he's got some pretty cool bikes over there. Actually, he's only got one bike over there. He's got a, a fat boy, but the other machine he's got is a tri-glide. So he's got a fat boy and a tri-glide over there. And we're going to head over and check those out right now. I'm riding the Sportster today. Had so much fun on the last episode and riding it around a few days back, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna ride it again. If any of you guys are kind of interested in what makes the Tri-Glide tick, they are kind of an amusing piece of machinery. Well, this is the episode for you. Alright, before we start having some real fun, I guess I better get the business out of the way. I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Uh, I put up videos every Tuesday and Saturday, so hit that subscribe button, you'll see it there. And also, uh, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. I'd like to see that thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And also, uh, there's a little bell. It's a little bell icon up over there hit that thing and that'll let you know whenever I upload new content and comment let's hear your comments I answer all the comments and I love to hear from everybody I'd like to hear what you think uh, let me know what you're riding or just give me a hello you know all right here we are today with Bill say hey Bill howdy all right and Bill's uh, as I said earlier Bill's Moto Mike 805's father and you can catch Moto Mike 805 uh, on his channel on YouTube and there's a link right here um, all right well let's look at what Bill's got over here we're gonna start right here with this guy right here and this is a 2005 uh, anniversary edition fat boy all right and how long have you had this uh, I got it in 2006. Uh, I bought it from a guy that uh, bought it new and put 1,200 miles on it and decided he didn't like it. Mm -hmm. How could you not like it, right? Now you brought something very interesting up that I I, I didn't know, and I, you know I I try to know as much as I can about this stuff but this is a 95 cubic inch yeah yeah twin the cam. Uh, anniversary edition came with a 95 cubic inch instead of the standard 88 and it came in two colors you could either get it in silver or black yeah. this is the silver one huh yeah ah, sure and then, looks of nice. course they came they put a gold yeah emblem on them for the yeah. anniversary edition yeah now the fat boy is supposed to kind of uh, resemble something aeronautic like military aer aeronautics uh -huh. you know that yeah yeah that's that. that's uh, why they've got this special looking uh, branding on it it's, it's their wings but they're not your normal Harley wings they look real aeronautical kind of like the Air Corps of World War two or something and uh, that was kind of what they what they're kind of designed around if that makes any sense but but it's a joy to ride yeah I love it now these uh, people tend to poo-poo on these solid rims 
Do they ever give you any problems when you're riding in the wind or anything? No. No. I've ridden in some really bad wind, yeah. and uh, I haven't had any problems with them. Yeah. I'd rather have these than spoke wheels. Yeah, yeah. They're a lot easier to keep clean, too. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they run pretty true, also. Yeah, I, you know, if the wheels are going so fast that, you know, even if you've got spokes, it's not much wind can get through, you know, the spokes while they're turning that fast. And I, I, I've never really believed that these things can, you know, cause you that much trouble in the wind, you know. But maybe they can in certain circumstances. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's never happened to me. I don't have one, so <laughs> I guess if it's happened to a person, they've got a different, they've got a different story for us. Yeah, I've never had a real big issue with it, and you know, out on the west side, I've hit some pretty good windstorms. Yeah, yeah, it gets pretty windy. I've yeah. ridden this thing in the snow, the rain, cold weather, hot weather. Yeah. What's the furthest trip you've taken with it? Um, uh, furthest trip I've done in one day, probably about 500 miles. Yeah. Last ride was over to Cayucas for lunch. Mm -hmm. Which we're going to make that ride one of these days. Yes. Um, so this is the anniversary, 15th anniversary, is that what yeah. they call it? Yeah. Yeah. I know they've got several different anniversaries, and of course the most notable one is the 100th anniversary. They've made every, every bike with a 100th anniversary brand. Oh, that's pretty nice, man. And what kind of pipes you got on it? Python. Python. Yeah, it makes a racket. Oh, I bet. Not too many people want to ride right behind me. <laughs> oh, that thing's cool. Okay, well, let's go over here. We got something interesting over here. Well, this is our 2012 Tri-Glide that my wife bought she uh rode with me once on the fat boy and decided that really wasn't for her it wasn't comfortable <laughs> so she called me one day from the dealership and said come pick this up i just bought it so when she goes we ride this when i go i ride the fat boy yeah she doesn't ride this she rides on the back right rides on so, the back so she yeah. chose a bike that or a machine this is a trike but uh she chose something that she'd be comfortable on riding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's good. You know, looks pretty it's comfortable. Got, it's got all the bells and whistles. Yeah. And this is a 12, right? 2012. 12, so this was pre all the sophisticated navigation right, right. and stuff, which I'm kind of grateful for. Yeah. And it's a twin cam. Yeah. Uh, probably what, a 103 or? Uh, I think it is a 103. Yeah. yeah. They got a lot of nice chrome on it, man. It came that way. Um, the guy that originally owned the bike, I was told by the Harley dealership, was in the Gulf War mm -hmm. and suffered from PTSD. And he bought this and had everything done to it at the dealership and rode it a few times and had such bad anxiety, he just couldn't take it. Wow. And the dealership bought it back from him. Oh, wow. So when we got it, it had really low mileage. It still got pretty low mileage on it. Yeah. So now, what's the differences, you know, between riding this and riding a motorcycle? You know, I've, oh, I've never ridden a trike, so I, you know. Major yeah. difference, you know, on the Fat Boy, you pretty much lean and hardly steer through a turn. With this thing, you're steering all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, these are really not twister friendly mm -hmm. bikes. If you're going to go into the mountains on a lot of twisties, you really don't want to be on one of these. Yeah. Because you just wear yourself out. Yeah. And if your friends are on two wheel bikes, you're not going to keep up with them. Yeah. Yeah. Not safely, anyway. Yeah. But on the road, on the open road, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah. And you don't have to put your feet down when you stop. Nope. So did you have trouble getting used to that? <laughs> I did. I yeah. did. How about leaning? Did you have trouble not leaning? You still want to lean. Yeah. I, as many <laughs> many miles as I put on this, yeah. I still want to lean. It feels freakish not to lean. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny, you know. This is a, a different a different topic altogether. But I was in Topeka, Kansas, one time, and they have a Evil Knievel museum there, and they have this uh, a simulated motorcycle that you you uh, uh, do a jump with, 
and they've simulated one of his jumps and you you know you ride this thing and you give it the gas um, and you put this virtual you know reality thing on you know and you put this it's a, a you know like a mask you put on and you actually can see the the uh, ramp going down the ramp and getting right up you you do the whole approach that he did and it's it's a it's a real jump that he that he had made you know and uh, I was on that little bike <laughs> And I'm right, and I'm acting like I'm riding it. I, I can't tell because I got this thing on my face, so I can't see. But I, I'm leaning over, and <laughs> I almost <laughs> fell off the thing because it doesn't. It's not set up to yeah. lean, and you're not supposed to lean it because it's not real. You know, you just it's just for people to. And I'm leaning this way, and I they had to grab me because I almost fell off, <laughs> and I felt so stupid, you know, because you know because I ride, and I you know I just was riding, and yep. you know all these little kids and people are on it and they're like not having any trouble you know and I'm leaning and almost falling off the dang thing so I can see where you could kind of get used to leaning this thing yeah I think uh, a lot of people I ride with are my age and more and more of them are getting trikes yeah and uh, it's just easier on your hips probably easier on your hips and uh, safer I have dropped that trying to back it up or whatever yeah uh, that's it's like 630 mm -hmm. pounds that's never any fun no. i i i did mine coming out of the driveway once too and luckily i have crash bars on it that's what i did <laughs> backing it out of the driveway yeah and yeah. backing it into the street and i backing it. it out and something i just lost just lost balance somehow and it went and started going over and i couldn't keep it up and but luckily i had you know i have the crash bars and it didn't completely lay over and it was easy for me to pick it back up but well that sure is nice so what's the longest trip you guys have taken on this uh we rode to the coast and spent the night yeah and rode back on it yeah and we've ridden to the coast a couple times on yeah it. yeah that's a um a common thing that gets women riding motorcycles is uh you know, although she's not riding this one, but um, they ride on the back of this little seat behind you, riding this thing like a madman, and they get they say, "No, -uh, I'm not riding on the back of that." You know, they end up buying their own bike. I know a lot of people that <laughs> that's happened to. You know, they they don't want to ride on the back. They end up getting their own bike because they're not going to ride on the back well, of it. Back of the fat boy, I couldn't hear. Her. This has got communication, so yeah. if I'm doing something she doesn't like. I hear about it yeah. right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's really nice, man. Yeah, yeah it, uh, I've been riding since I was about 14, so, yeah. you know, I think riding motorcycles, like the guy that bought this one, is either something you love or you don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you don't love it, you don't understand it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Yeah, that's it. That's once it. it gets in your blood and you love it... Yeah, then, it's, it's all over with. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a sad day when I have to admit that I can't ride yeah. this anymore. And I've told Mike when I can't ride it, he gets it. Yeah. yeah. So I think he keeps waiting for me to say, uh, <laughs> I can't yeah. do it anymore. I'm just going to ride the tri glide from yeah. now on. <laughs> I know. Your shoulders start getting to you and your hips start getting to you. And I always wonder when I'm not going to be able to ride anymore, too, you know, because I got a ways to go. And, but well, if you got still... shoulder problems, yeah. this is not a good idea. It's not a good idea, yeah. 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 I've heard that, you know, uh, not a three-wheeler, but basically the same thing as riding a bike with a sidecar is you don't ride it, you pilot it. Yeah, that's the way this is. Yeah, yeah, you've got you've to actually do a lot of things to make it do what you want it to do differently than on a motorcycle. And no counter steering and... Nope. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah, totally different beast. Well, awesome, man. Well, thanks a lot yeah. for, for showing these to me. And uh, we got that one over there. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and I'm becoming, at my age, a fair weather rider. Uh -huh. As long as it's above 60 and below 80, yeah. I'm good. If yeah. it's not, then I'm in the house and the air conditioning. All right. Well, cool, man. Well, thanks a lot, Bill. Appreciate it. And thanks for showing these to us. And uh, keep an eye out for the episode. It's if you see be... uh, Moto Mike, tell him I said hi. Okay, I, I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll probably talk to him before I will. But, yeah. but he'll see this episode, I'm sure, because he always watches the Blue Sart Biker. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I hope you guys dug the tri-glide and the fat boy. 
Now Bill is, uh, like I said earlier, he's Moto Mike 805's dad, so I can't stress it enough because we all need to take care of each other on these YouTube channels. Subscribe to his channel. Moto Mike's been a, hey buddy, Moto Mike's been a good supporter of the Blue Sort Biker and I'm a good supporter of Moto Mike 805. So you guys get an opportunity to subscribe to his channel and do it and tell him I sent you. Also, it would be great if you subscribe to my channel as well, if you haven't yet, if you like what you see here. I'd like to ask you to subscribe, and also give me that thumbs up on the video if you like what you see. Comment often, I love to hear from you guys, and uh, always ride safe, you know, and drive safe when you're driving your car. You know, you could be a rider, and be driving a car and not look over your shoulder and bump a guy off his bike. And that's when you feel really bad. So be safe all the time. Take care of each other. We'll see you again next time. Every Tuesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. It's the Blue Sark Biker Motovlog. See you soon. Thanks a lot, friends.